to show you today is how to what's called stack cut a load of material. And this is done quite often on the job sites. So if I need a particular set of units, particularly these studs or plates, all cut to the same length, instead of cutting just one at a time, we're going to do what's called a stack cut. So you can see right now I've just taken this group of two by fours, and your stack it should be no more than six. Six at a time is the max we're going to do on this stack cut. So our first step is just to make sure everything's stacked up nicely and neatly. So Chris, come on in. Okay. So we're gonna. You need a framing square. So we'll just use this end right here. No, we do it just like this. Go ready. Okay. Not a bad idea to have a partner to help you out with. cutting our stack, we need to make sure our, our skill saw here is set perfectly square. With the saw unplugged, pull back the guard, grab your square, check, and make any adjustments you need to do to make sure this is perfectly square. Okay, now we're ready to measure and mark our material to length. In this case, 104 and 5 eighths. Now we have our correct length marked and squared. Okay, in addition to making sure your blade is square, make sure you set it for full depth. Now, you can just take your, your skill saw, follow that line and make that cut, but preferred method is grab the large speed square and use that as your guide. What we're gonna be doing, we're gonna cut through one and a half of these studs. After that cut's made, the partner or you will take and slide this one back and then make the next cut. The cut in the second piece is basically your line you're going to follow all the way down to you make your final cut. Now, all you have to do as a carpenter now is just follow this same curve that the saw blade made. All these pieces should be 104 and 5 eighths and square and ready for you. Okay, we finished we finished our last stud. 104 and 5 8 should be our cut. We're cut exactly 104 and 5 8. Just a reminder, this is only good for six pieces. Once we go beyond six, we have a chance of creeping that cut down and making it too small. There you go. That's how you do a stack cut.